hey, it's David Outdoors 74. It's winter time, so you know me. I like being outside, <laughs> cold or not. Anyways, this video is based on me trying to generate heat for my compost pile using my chickens to generate heat for the biodigester, possibly. And again, the chicken coop. So if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below, the share, the like, post a comment, I'll get right back to you. And uh, part one of maybe two or three. Thanks. Bye. I built this pile here. This is kind of a concept. I've got pallets. I'm gonna screw these guys together. That's what this video is gonna be on. And I'm probably gonna change all this up and then um, you know, lay it out in a better format. And that way I can keep adding chicken manure, which chicken manure is high in nitrogen, which will just create amazing heat. And uh, same thing with horse manure. Horse manure is really good for uh, drawing, you know, making heat in compost pile. It's basically same thing with chicken. It's high in nitrogen. You, If you took chicken waste, threw it on a, a garden, and then same thing with horse manure right off the get-go without breaking down, it would just burn up your garden. So it does make great composting. If you hear noises in the background while I'm building this, this is my chickens. They're busy at... Hey, guys. There's 70 of these. But that's in another video. If you're interested in checking out chicken farming, that's what me and my son got into uh, this past year. So, so 2021, we're going to be selling lots of eggs. So check out my other videos on that. These Ryobis are great. Love these Ryobis. Use them on pretty much everything. We're gonna make it easy. big concept here is you want water on your compost because when it mats down like that it's going to uh, create heat the other thing too is you want to put like uh, some kind of perforated four inch tile in there something to put air in your pile because air will come up and it'll help the anaerobics or aerobics digesters are anaerobic where compost piles are aerobic because they need air I recommend using a pitchfork eventually at some time. Again, you gotta be careful when you don't hit your lines doing that. They like that stuff. This is that tax. I can see if it's warm at all. It's been sitting. No, it's not warm. Not enough nitrogen. Nitrogen's good. Great heat. Okay, so this pipe here is that four inch pipe that's been perforated. That'll put air to the pile. Compost piles need air. So I'm basically just gonna lay it basically like that. That way it gets air. I'm still debating if I wanna run another row out here. That's a lot of compost. Looks like easy to fill it up. But I think I'm going to stick with this. And I'll stick with that. That design, so to speak.
Now all I gotta do is put the, the half inch in and then over time just keep adding uh, chicken waste, you know, clip it, or leaves, whatever, and let it just rot down. And uh, as long as I got air to it, that's like the big thing. These piles need air, to, like I said earlier, to keep them, excuse me for the sniffling, it's uh, what, 28 degrees out. Which is fine with me. All right, I'll put that one on after. I'm going to grab the half inch and line it like that. I'm going to have an out, a cold water in, and a hot water out. This is really, I got a really deep insulation bedding, probably too much, but it should work. You don't want your lines, you don't want the half inch line too close to the edge. That's where the cold is. So I'm gonna try to keep it as tight as I can. So right now I'm done. I'm gonna put the, I won't put that pallet on yet until I'm done uh, loading up, until it's actually higher. So, cause I'll start, with a compost back there and I'll work my way this way. And uh, that'll go on last. That'll be here and then I'll fill it as I go.